Hi, this is Danielle Zarna and I'm doing a vlog. Well, um, today I had a very peculiar dream before I woke up and I had a tremendous headache afterwards. Well, first off I gotta say is I got my sonic screwdriver. And um, as you can see, Is that? My cat really likes it. So I got my sonic screwdriver. Okay, what I'm going to say is, um. When I work, uh, well, last night I had a very peculiar dream when I woke up. And I have been quite ignorant about the term Black Friday. Yeah, so it sounds like bad wolf. But anyway, um, I had this very peculiar dream. And um, as I know, as I have mentioned before, that sometimes um, when I sleep I can tap into things. Um, um, like so, like like consciousness uh, of people and things like that, and I can actually sense. Um, now I feel like I was actually somewhere in someone's mind. We might have been dreaming the same thing, or a few people had been dreaming the same thing. Um, well, I'm not too sure. It's the same thing, or it might be similar. But um, what I said, what I'm saying is. Um, was a, was a very unusual dream and I think what I've experienced was more like um, generated uh, met it's actually mostly metaphor where I have to try and um, figure out what the hell I was dreaming all about now I'll tell you the dream firstly okay um, and it, how it correlates to Black Friday in a sense um, Okay, uh, and it's very much with the religious, really for elites and everything. So, what actually happened in the dream was, I was actually, there was actually this um, beach, and um, it was like a beach where it had very tall glaciers and it was cold and it was dark, and um, a ship came by. Um, and then people were queuing up um, in front of the ship, and um, basically the, the ship was actually handing out fish, many different fish. And so they hand the fish down, and um, and um, the fish actually um, And then this fish actually um, uh, it's one way I'm actually getting my cat. <laughs> um, the fish came down. Ah, not the fish came down. Um, it was that uh, people were queuing up and they were waiting by the shore and uh, they were collecting fish. And the ship was actually handing out the fish. And um, and the fish was getting passed from person to person to person standing in the queue. So um, the first fish would end up to the last person in the queue, and um, and the last fish would be handed down to the first person in the queue. Now, what was also quite peculiar is um, there was a small boat that came from the ship as well, and um, some of the people put out this um, large golden. Uh, the time is chest. Eight o'clock p.m. this golden chest and uh, on this golden chest um, there were two sort of like angels on it and that was put on the beach uh, and it was just left there um, you know no one really thought of it uh, it was just put there on the beach and um, 
the next thing happened was um um yeah, the, the fish the people were just you know getting their fish and all that and um I was in the queue and I was with somebody and um and then we saw some figures walk from the back of the queue to the front of the queue. Um and um they were wearing these dark hooded you know cloaks um kind of thing as if they want to perform some real ritual kind of thing. So they kind of um went to the front of uh, went to the, the front where the beach where the ship was and then they stood in a line and they were tight waiting. Um, you know, they had their their heads down, their their hands crossed, you know, looking down and um and then it was as if they were timing the event. And then the the, the when the time came up they, they they moved up and they walked forward towards the people. Um in the queue, and um, then the one, then they were walked and to the, where the where the box was. One chap put his right hand on the box, and then put his left hand up like that. And what actually happened is the people started um, exploding, where, where their blood and their guts and their bones and everything. And, you know, all over the place. Um, then what actually then happened was um, you, I could actually you know you, you just feel the energy uh, that you know, and I think it was when my headache was starting uh, in my sleep. You could just feel the 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 the, the, the vibration, and um, I just kind of like turned away and looked away, but I could feel myself like it's as if I was being lifted off the ground. But I wasn't exploding like the rest of everybody else. Um, then there was somebody else who was, you know, the person who was near me, uh, dragged me into the um, into a rock uh, behind a rock, into a, behind a rock, and then um, um, pulled me on the shoulders and, and he said, um, um, he said. Um, yeah, he said, Google Black Friday deaths in sleep. And then I woke up and I had this heavy headache. Now, I'm not trying to make sense of what I dreamt. Um, because it was like really bizarre. Um, the people in the clothes, I kind of put together that they're the religious political elite. Um, the fish that was handed out was basically because uh, I actually looked up Black Friday and I thought, oh, there's a bit of a coincidence here. So this dream was more like the fish was more like a metaphor um, to the um, the goods that um, that that they were actually had lowered their prices so that people can shop over the Christmas season. And when you search, you see like queues and queues. I even went into town and I saw queues and queues. It was so freaking freaky. But uh, you know, I didn't really know about this Black Friday story. Um, you know, I was quite ignorant about it, and as if the dream kind of um, given me an update on what the fuck it was. And um, and what it is, uh, you know, people in the queues. And um, already I googled up um, deaths Black Friday, and um, I found that there. An article um, um, that's been a Black Friday turns dark as Twitter websites track injuries, fights, and deaths. Now that is um, quite something, you know. Like, was this person in the dream told me um, Google Black Friday deaths and sleep? Um, so basically most of these deaths were actually caused in the queues, which is very, um, symbolic to people exploding, um, in the queues, dying, um, exploding. Now, um, and the, and the, 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 the fish is a symbol, symbol of the, um, the shopping, the goods. And, um, 
what actually uh, was quite um, freaky as well is um, actually when I went to go to the post office to pick my sonic screwdriver, there were tons of cues. You know, me, I just I get terrible anxiety factor was too many people queued up. That I came later, um, after I've been to the, you know, do my art and all that, I actually uh, went and I fixed my son's screwdriver. Um, so, um, yeah, um, yeah, there's a, there's a, a real screwdriver, you know, um, and it opens up. And then it's actually, well, the sonic pot is just basically, you know, totally, um, it's uh, a toy, and then you've got these screwdriver bits. Yeah, it's really, the magnet in there is pretty strong. It's, um, I shouldn't have cut, I didn't really cut my nails off the throat. Um, because I hardly ever cut my nails. But anyway, it's got these, these, um, these, uh, screw bits inside. On. So it has, so it's not just like a toy or a, or a, a non-useful, you know, gimmick. Um, it, it has a function. But that's what I like is I like getting um, sort of like gimmicks like this, you know, because I, you know, I'm a bit of a, you know, a nerd, and um, I like my science fiction, um, you know. Cause I actually find I like science fiction because you know, it's it's very close to what I've experienced in life. And, uh, that's straight because you're not you're definitely not alone in the universe. You know? um, so the sci-fi kind of makes um, it's interesting to see people's imagination how they imagine life on other planets to be like, um, and sometimes it, they get pretty accurate. Sometimes very inaccurate and more, it's more of a fantasy. But it, it, it's, I, I'm not keen on dramas and, um, uh, things like that because I have enough drama in my life. And I had some sci fi in my life. Um, that, um, the drama is something I like to avoid because I've got to the point of watching, um, acted out drama when real life is Drama is something I've experienced, um, and I have suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. So I like something that is very imaginative, an escape from this prison planet, in a sense. I'm just trying to get the drill bits out. Gee whiz. The magnet is very strong. I can't get them out. Um, well, um, I'll have to get tweezers and uh, uh, get it with tweezers to um, get the things up. And what you do is you put them in there, and then you just screw. So it is a, um, a useful device, and it is a screwdriver. Like Sonic, but it's fake, so <laughs> uh, it's just like a gimmick. Um, anyway, um, what I was going to say is that uh, back to the Black Friday thing is um, I've already googled up some that people have actually died today. Um, they are talking about the that uh, golden box with the angel gun. Apparently, that is the Ark of the Covenant, uh, in a sense. Um, the technology of the Ark of the Covenant is very much scalar type, um, where it uses electromagnetic radiation, um, very much like Hop. And I think, I think perhaps Hop had been or some sort of mind manipulation. Technology has been used to aggravate aggression and the whole um, um, thing about Black Friday with the shopping and all that. So, um, and I'm just wondering if, if if some people have actually been, you know, killed by it. Um, so I'm still waiting for, going to wait till about Monday, and I'm going to Google more results um, about it um, to see how realistic. This um, this lucid dream thing is, um, and um, see how it goes from there. And um, that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna keep the cat in the lap.
God is bring it to so you can see the kids. <laughs> About a very classic thing. Let me get tired. 